Okay. So this is episode 7 of Outer Wilds. Welcome back. I am going to recap kind of what has happened so far. So I think that uh, the biggest thing we know so far is that the Nomai were con were doing some type of project on uh, on the Ash Twin, where they uh, they went to the core and they started kind of like caging it in with uh some metal that came off this planet off of a uh, timber hearth and so they were using that to like make sure that whatever they were working on on ash twin was completely boxed in they wanted it sealed off they didn't want anybody to get to it um at least that's how it appears but maybe they didn't want anything to get out of it. All good questions. Um, yeah. Yep. Ash Twin po Project is a big deal. So you probably have to use Warp Tech to get into it. the warp tech being what I used to go into the 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 white hole station um yeah so the Nomai developed teleportation essentially um so that I can warp between certain places So, yeah, that that's going to be really important, but I got to figure out probably how to get to it. Interesting, also. I think it's uh, curious that it's the Ash Twin. The reason being that Ash Twin and the Ember Twin are the closest to the sun, which as we know is the problem that we've been experiencing for the past like uh you know yeah i'm i'm really curious about that I said I was going to go around Timber Hearth, but I'm actually a little bit more curious about the, uh, I want to see what I can find out here, if I can find out anything. Oh, weird. Oh. 
Okay. So we're on Ash Twin now. Yeah, there's something to this. Let me see if I can get up at the top of that. That pillar. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, though. Well, well, well. I think that this only goes up. Oh, whoops. You know what? I never thought to take pictures of myself. Ah, uh, whoops. Hold on. can't do it here. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah. I can't even shoot that down in there because... But that, that'll go to the core. I guarantee it. So they designed that so that nobody could get in there. Wait. That wasn't there before. Was it? Maybe it was, and I just didn't land in the right spot. I could have swore that wasn't there before. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh, crap. Okay, maybe, maybe no Ash Twin, um, I, I don't know. know. Or maybe just wear your spacesuit next time. Yeah, I know, I know, all right. All right, all right, time to go back up. Going up. Yeah. I think um, I'm finding out more stuff on Timber Hearth than anywhere else right now. Mostly just because that's where I'm spending most of my time. Yeah, it might be worth it to land here. Let's try that. Take the suit. Hmm. 
<laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Okay. I think I'm doing some precarious stuff, and I probably need to stop doing that. Um, okay. <laughs> I think it's time to reevaluate the game plan. Uh, the game plan moving forward is don't die. Don't die. Just don't do it. Not until the end of the world. Hmm. Let's figure out something else to go. Let's figure out something else. So there's this area, which I've been to. There is the crater. No, this crater I have not been to. This actually isn't just a crater. It's a... Uh, Hello. What the hell? Still moving. It's still moving. It's it's totally moving. Oh wait, hold on, these are, those are different shards in different places. So wait, where's the grove shard?
Hmm. Ah, I'm sure it doesn't matter. Not yet. I can't do anything with that information yet. Yeah, I'd prefer to get to the top nice and quick. Okay. I'll need to get better at that first. Research notes, property of chart. I have detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within this grove, within the grove in this crater. It's very simple to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal will, in the grove will reveal more about it. think we learned too much about it. I can't do anything with that information. So it's time to get out of here. Time to go. All right, let's go. If I'm right, I think that might be everything that's here. Yeah, I think that's everything. The only thing I didn't do is explore, not that one. Is it these? No. Maybe it's these.
Yeah, let's see where this goes. This way? Hey, hey! No, 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 no! Oh, no! I wanna stay. Stay down here. Stay down here. Okay. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for this native life dwelling uh, in some of the cave pools. So, unfortunately, we'll have to mine some of the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about site 2B, which shares similar formations in Australia? sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. Site 2B is safe. Kalia says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life there. Okay. On the opposite hand, new life. This, this species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll be able to thrive in the long run. Just be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. That's definitely us. Huh. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor, Meloray, once told me from when our clan used to travel across the universe, she would have enjoyed those life forms greatly. Interesting. Oh, crap, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go back. this? What is this? That's a fuel tank, but I can't use it. I wonder where this goes. Oh yeah, that's one of those um, crater things. Okay. Or one of those geysers. And this will probably take me full circle. started. It's 
it's kind of unnerving because you never know what you're going to run into. Ever since I ran into that anglerfish, I've just been like, ah, what, what's going to kill me today? Sometimes it's me. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so we were a uh, little uh, strange critters whenever I guess they uh, they first came across us. I don't, I don't think they made us. They <gasps> discovered us, I guess. And they were just like, oh, look at these little, little uh, half fishy doodads swimming around in these pools. Let's find them a safe place to be. And now we're making spaceships. How about that? Okay, I think that that's all of Timber Hearth. That's all of Timber Hearth that I care to deal with for right now. Mm. Yeah, we'll float in space for a minute. Quantum Grove, Quantum Moon. All right. I want to go back there, but... There you are. Yeah, I have a couple of uh, points of interest that I want to get to over here. I think... Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violet friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles the planet appear random seems to travel as it likes. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. 
Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. <laughs> Hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Okay. So there's a quote unquote phantom moon. That's interesting. Well, this planet's on a time crunch, so... The hell is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, escape pod. Is everyone unharmed? Nobody was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We were incredibly fortunate. We were incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard the escape pod 2? Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I am unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Brace yourselves. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. Believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the, this cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Their ships are way more advanced than ours. Launching escape pod three, launching escape pod two, now launching escape pod one. Wait. Begin flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel has been more mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Okay, launching pods. Escape pod one. 
scanning external environment. Pockets of breathable air, solar energy. Okay. Emergency escape hatch. Well, that's no good. But these are the stairs. So this is how they climb down. Oh. Okay, yeah, these are brittle and useless. sure not to wander far from here although this area is somewhat unstable it's safer than anywhere we found so far temporary settlement is finished but be cautious so is this the hanging city Is that how you get to it? Okay, hold on. Given the concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? So we got branches. Let's see. I believe we should more great migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use the gravity crystals to craft a usable path? Of course. Beneath the crust again building beneath the crest again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. We need to stay close to the escape pod so that Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't think anyone's coming to save us that. We must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eyes the eyes signal called us and we followed. If we're blah blah, we're not here to merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, that is what we should do. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I could explore over here and see what information I could gather before I do that. Because it's easy to make it back to this. Which part fell? Okay, as long as it wasn't me. That's all I care about. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. What? 
No Namai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what a rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Mmm, okay. The signal looked like an eye, round, with a circle at the center like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. Hmm. Oops. Oh, does it really just stick to... Yeah, it totally sticks to anything. Okay. I gotta get down there. Oops. My brother wasn't in the skate pod one. Was he in the skate pod two or three? Was he able to board on a pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Damn, dude. So he probably lost his brother. Oops. Um, did something just break off? How'd I get down here? Okay. Yeah, let me go back over there. Like, well, first. Oh no, I was already here, okay. Oh, yep, well, I'm gone. Goodbye, friends. Yeah, I fucked up. This is the Ember Twin Projection Stone. Oops. OK, 
okay, this is the White Hole Station. I know all that. Let me take this with me, though. Actually, how does this work again? Oh no, I didn't want to get warped here. Okay. So what if I take the ember to in project? Um, shoot, I'm throwing my words together wrong. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this, and I guess I can't go down there. That's inconvenient. Yes? This is the Ember Twin. That's the Ash Twin. Wait. All that is surface that you normally can't see through. But I can totally see. That's the core. And those are like antenna, right? Coming off of it, that was what we saw at the surface. Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to wait for it to come back around. <laughs> Look at that jello body. <laughs> All right. Uh... Where'd it go? Okay. 
So on either side, there are posts that are coming out. Hmm. That was really interesting. Okay, well now I know where to use that. I don't know about you, player character, but it seems like that would be something to put into a, uh... A ship log. Seems like something that'd be wise to take down in my notes, but you know. I am almost out of fuel. Using oxygen as propellant. <laughs> well, you know what? Perfect. Perfect timing. Just go ahead and use all that up. There we go. Alright, cool. So, Ash Twin Project, there is some kind of, um, it, it, those look like antenna that were coming out of the, uh, out of the core. So maybe some type of, like, signal radio thing I mean I can't hear anything coming off of it from my um You know what I'm curious about every time I wake up that I see that Why have I never paid attention to that before? Like something got scuttled. Okay. I think that's it for this one. This one was a... Uh, um, I feel like these are getting longer and longer and longer. Oh, perfect. Huh? No fall damage. Weird. You know what? That's a cool way uh, to relive this. I need to see what, what's going on here. That's an explosion. That was an explosion. And I can't tell if it went into Giant's Deep or got, like, went behind it. It looks like it just crashed into Giant's Deep. I'm curious about that, too. What's, what's going on with Giant's Deep? Giant's Deep. 
deep crash. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? All right. Till next time. Um, I will catch you guys later.